Hello everyone, I am Satria Wutama. I will be uh, doing a presentation about my team, Delta Robotic 3. My, my team consists of two members, uh, myself, Satria Utama, and my teammate, Rehan Radian. We are from Indonesia. My personal robotic experience. Uh, I've learned robotics for five years now. I usually program maze solvers, so I'm quite familiar with robots that follow lines. Uh, it is very interesting to implement a full AI to a line follower. Ren Radian's robotic experience. Uh, before studying the Co-Space Autonomous Driving Car, uh, he studied underwater robotic and drone racing. Uh, he's, he was interested in this Co-Space because it was full of challenges. He studied with his friend. Uh, exclusive summary of the preliminary challenge. Uh, we participate in the Co-Space Autonomous Driving Car U19. Uh, the problem we encounter was that the robot keeps swinging back and forth and it didn't detect uh, a blue marker. So to fix the problem, we tweak, we tweak the PID or the AI and set a bigger color threshold to the color sensor. And, and, and as a result, the robot is now more stable and can detect the marker. Analysis. The mission is to get to the finish line as fast as possible. The task can be broken into many tasks. There are line following and marker detection. The mission will be solved if all many tasks are completed correctly. The AI algorithm and resources. We use an AI called APID controller. Uh, the tools and resources we use are the IR sensors of the robot, the color sensors, and advanced actions. The advantage. Uh, the advantage of using advanced actions is that we are able to make a PID or a proportional in integral derivative controller and we can run at speeds up to 100. Implementation The PID works by taking an input and doing some math to it which will generate a value known as error. The error value is then put through a coefficient filter Other than that, the P, I, and D values are summed up and an output is made. Debugging When we try to run the robot at 100, the robot becomes unstable. We spend 6 hours fixing the problem, but nothing works, so we stick to 90. Conclusion and further work The robot didn't run as, pl as planned. It, didn't, it wasn't as stable as we hoped for, and it didn't detect the blue marker. And and as a result, it wasted 2 seconds. Another method we use are markers. We use the color sensor to detect colored markers on the floor. In the future, perhaps we will use more variables and to enable different PIDs on different parts of the map. So perhaps one PID will have a higher, more sensitivity than the other, like that. So my learning experience after this challenge uh, I learned how to use APID and what it truly feels like to be a programmer. I also learned that making a good AI needs time, experience, and 8 hours of not sleeping. The most imp uh, some important points that I want to share to other post-based game players. Uh, here's a quote, quote by Andrew Hunt. In some ways, programming is like painting. You start with a blank canvas and certain basic raw materials. Use a com you use a combination of science, art, and craft to determine what you do with them. Ryan Radia's learning experience. He learned how to code, and he learned how to make a sick AI. Some important points he wants to share with co-space game players. Uh, a quote by Bert Running. Testing leads to failure, and failure leads, leads to understanding. Oh, what a nice quote right there. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, we will, me and my team will see you in the finalist round of the Co-Space Challenge. Bye-bye.